Ciao, I'm Mariana Esposito. And I'm Tommy DePaola. And I'm Strega Nona. Next time on Ciao Italia, Strega Nona's Pizza. Yeah. Ciao, I'm Mariana Esposito. Welcome to Italy, and let's cook real Italian. Aren't they gorgeous? Swiss chard. I knew you said that. I'm in heaven. Think about how healthy this is. That's for you. Sunday sauce. All 20 regions of Italy are fabulous. And every time I do this, I think of my Nonna Galasso because she always made it this way. You want a Goldilocks dough, just right. Who doesn't like basil, especially in the summer? Obviously, you have to have pesto sauce at some point, right? I mean, I'm a cook. Why can't I try it? You're the best. No, you're the best. These are the colorful tools of an artist's trade. When put to good use, they create magic. Children's book author and illustrated Tommy DePaola has spent a lifetime creating fabulous stories for children, including one of my favorites, Strega Nona. Strega Nona, where did that come from? Marianne. Who's she based on? Uh, she's, well, she came out of my imagination, believe it or not, but she's kind of a little bit based on my Italian grandmother. Now, she didn't look like this. Uh -huh. My grandmother did not have that nose or chin. Uh -huh. I can show you, I started to do this, uh -huh. and then just sort of, Suddenly, a little kerchief appeared on, you know, <laughs> and I said, oh, isn't she That's cute? because you're wearing a kerchief. Exactly. <laughs> I said, isn't she cute? She's adorable. And I love said, the hat. And her name is Strega Nona. Now, Strega, we all know, means witch. Witch, yeah, and Nona was the way we said right. grandma. So, grandma witch? Grandma witch. Grandma witch. And you know, there are two kinds of Stregas. Yeah, the good ones and the, the bad ones. The white ones and the black ones. The good ones <laughs> and the bad, the bad ones. ones. Just like Wizard of Oz. Right, are you yeah. a good witch or a bad witch? <laughs> How many Strega Nona books oh, about, are there? Oh, eight, eight, ten, nine, I don't know, 10, 12? This is the latest one. That's the newest one, one right. No. And guess who that's dedicated to? Well, this is why I'm bringing this up. I'm not bashful. <laughs> it says, for Guy who grows the best tomatoes and Mary Ann who knows exactly what to do with them. Right on, hey. Tommy. <laughs> I love Strega Nona. <laughs> yeah, this story, this was, um, these little, they're easy to read. They're yeah, called Ready yeah. to Read. That was you know, her. I think that just like me when I was a little kid, the one thing she never cooked because she didn't have a real oven, uh -huh. the oven was at the bakery. Yeah. So what about pizza? Strega Nona's pizza? Why not? I love it. You like that idea? Yeah. And guess what I have in my house? What? I have a brick oven. Oh, okay. <laughs> Of course I do. <laughs> of course you have a brick oven. Well, Should let's, we go? let's do it. Good. All right. Tommy, before we make pizza, yeah. I want to show you how to make ricotta cheese because you emailed me and asked me how to do this. Yeah, I've never made it before. And I figured that we could do this in a calzone because we're making pizza. And now. I've never had calzone. Mm -hmm. I've had it, but I've never made them. Before. Okay, good, well, that's good. what we're going to do. So you put the whole milk in a pot. Okay. And you have a temperature gauge. I use a candy right. thermometer because you want to bring the milk to about 210 degrees. Okay? 210. Okay. 210. Yep. So in order to make the ricotta, we need some sort of acid. That's and, why I'm doing the lemons. And that's oh, why okay. he is squeezing lemons, because you could either use this, you could use vinegar, you could use rennet. We all know what rennet oh, is. Oh, yeah. You know, rennet yeah, is yeah. the stomach yeah. lining of now, animals. Vinegar so, can, what, should be white vinegar? White vinegar, okay. white vinegar. But in order to enrich this, now this is just my idea. Yeah. I like to add a little heavy cream to it. Oh, so hey. <laughs> I'm just going to add a little heavy oh, nice. cream, about a half a cup, <laughs> yeah. Because I use this for things like not only calzones, but for a cannoli, for any kind of a ricotta cheese dessert. This is great as a dessert just by itself. Oh, sure. Oh, All right. Yeah, I, I, ricotta just uh, in a bowl. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think you can stop squeezing All right, for now. Good. Okay. And let me put some of this lemon juice in here. So I'm going to use the lemon juice. All right. And this, is, and this is and this is what's going to help curdle the oh, milk. Ooh. So I like to use the lemon juice instead okay. of the vinegar because I like the flavor of lemon better than I do yeah. of vinegar. Yep. So 
you have to have patience here, but I think you can oh, see yeah. Yeah, yeah. that the little that. curds are starting to form. So in order to get the curds out, you want to have ready, let's put this over All here. Right. Yeah. You want to have ready a bowl mm -hmm. and a strainer like yeah. this yeah. that you have some cheesecloth in. Okay, see? okay. Because the way the leftover from this process is going to go into the bottom of the bowl and the curds are going to remain here. Now, ideally... Little Miss Muffet. Yes. Her curds and whey. <laughs> You'll have to write a story about that. All right, Tommy, so... See, oh, my goodness, look at that. There. Those are the curds. Yeah. And we need to drain them right in here. Oh, see? wow. Now, I'm going to have you oh. gen gently scoop. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Because if once we get all those curds out, uh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And don't go down deep, just this top? Mm, just to the top. Okay. Just over the... F okay. All right, now? Put it in there. Yeah, okay. Okay, keep going now. All right, get all those out. Don't okay. Don't leave anything behind. Nope. You have to have a little patience for this, but it's very fast. All right, so always learn something, Mary. What we when have you're here. to do now is make that pizza dough. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm using a sort of a basic pizza dough that you do 18 hours before, okay. and it's got 500 grams of flour. Mm -hmm. And I'm using a, a scale, uh, a scale which, you know, I was told by someone to use a scale. I love using the That's scale. That's the way they would do it in Italy, now, but. You know, when your grandmother or Streganona was doing this, it was all up here. Well, you know, Streganona, yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I, I never asked her if she ever made pizza. I think she went, she got pizza from Bombalona's father's bakery. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There's, there's, yeah. there's right. 500 grams of flour. Okay, now what? Okay, two tablespoons of very fine sea salt. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of... Yes. Active dry yeast. This sings to me because the less yeast you use, I know, isn't that something? The better flavor. Especially you will if get. I, this is going to rise for oh, 18 yeah. hours. I've yeah. kept dough in the refrigerator for four days. And the flavor, yeah, because the flavor really develops. You don't need a lot of yeast. So, you know, two and a quarter teaspoons in a package of yeast, you really don't need all of that. This is a much better way to do it. Less yeast, better bread, better right. pizza. And I used to make pizza dough with a uh, biga. Yes. From Carol Field's book. Oh, a uh, biga. Yeah. Look what now I it's have. A, uh, Wait. It's a uh, cup and a half of. Oh, 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 look. Oh. That's where you keep your oh, biga. Oh, look at that. In there. See? <laughs> this is an old prosciutto baby. pot. <laughs> so, okay. Now, I'm just going to pour, not going to pour all the water. It's a cup and a half of room temperature water. Uh -huh. Some people say you should only use spring water, but I live oh. in. Lovely New Hampshire, so, and my impeccably clean, clean hands. hands. But so this takes really the fear out of making yeah. a, uh, a dough because a lot of people are afraid that they haven't got the right temperature for yeah. oh, the good. yeast. And, and this is what I kills. do, I spill it all over me. So you used room temperature water. Yep. If you use water that's warm, you know, warm to the touch, that's good. You don't want it real hot if now, you're proofing you mind... the yeast in water first, but you're adding it right to the right dry to the, ingredient. Right to the dry. You if want you, a little bit warm? Yep. Okay. Serve around, yep, in the middle there. Okay. It gets all done. It's going to mm -hmm. take it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what this, are, what this are, isn't really kneading. It's just mixing. Yeah, you're not. Okay, the, the rest of the water can go right in over here. Okay. Great. Perfect. Okay. We should open up a restaurant. We should. Yeah, it, <laughs> at least a pizzeria. But so now, once you have this all together, Yep. Are you going to knead it at all, or you nope. just, you're not nope. going to knead it? Oh, I'm just going to cover it with plastic wrap and, and put it aside it? in a warmish, coolish place. Mm -hmm. The warmer the place, the faster it will rise, yeah. maybe and nine hours. Yeah. Overnight, I like to let it go 18, 20 hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So. All right, that's it. It looks pretty rough, but yeah, it's It's gonna... very rough and yeah. shaky, uh -huh. and you think, oh, what have I done? That's what I'm thinking. But... <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but what yeah. do you see? I've got one. Oh, that, of I, course, I, I did one earlier so you could see I'm what it a looks believer, like. Tommy. Okay. I'm a believer. Okay, that's Wanna it. Hands? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> this Ooh, is like 18, 20 hours. Let me it's smell beautiful. that. Yeah, it's you got a nice smell? sourdough smell to it. Mm, yeah. yeah okay. Now, you have to flour the board really well. Okay. Even more than that, probably. Yeah. Is that enough? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, for the yeah. time being. A little bit more? And okay. this is the tough part with my yeah. sort of artist's arms. Okay. I have one of these. Okay. You try not to let this deflate. Mm -hmm. And the bowl was oiled. Mm -hmm. I put this in. 
and just drop it very gently mm. onto that flower. Mm -hmm. now, let me get that out of your way. Okay, okay. thank you. Yeah. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on top of it. Uh-huh. And I'm going to put some flour over here. I'm going to it looks like an awful lot of flour, but you'll see. Now, I want to be very careful with this, not to knock too much air out. Right. You can make a nice loaf of bread out of that. Probably. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. There you go. Just throw Beautiful. it in the oven. It's a ciabatta. Okay, I'm going to get my cutter. <laughs> okay. And people don't use these enough. I you know. know. The I'm going to cut it into four. Okay. That's my piece. And you can help me by okay. putting these into balls. Now, sure. The way I do it is I do right mm -hmm. to left, mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. to front, and then mm -hmm. on the board, let the board mm -hmm. do the work. And, and I turn it and I hold it and pinch the bottom. The bottom. Right? Yeah. Because you want these to rest a little bit. Right. They don't really need to rise. But you're going to do this in a special pizza yes, oven. I, yes, I am. Okay. But what All I'm right. going to do is I'm going to put them in here because well, we may need... A little flour? No, I can, I'm just going to scoop up some from here. Okay. All right, that's I'm great. Going to put them right in. Mm -hmm. four, four corners. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful, easy. And just to be on the safe side, I'm just going to scatter this flour, not on them, mm -hmm. but just around, around them. them. Okay, so they're resting. They're resting. All right. Now we should rest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're making like a personal size pizza. Well, they're... 10 inches. Wanna, yeah, I mean, that's you know, I'm about, not going to make a 40, 14 inch well, pizza. No, but what I was going <laughs> to say is if we were doing this in Italy and you were eating pizza in the home of pizza, which is Naples. Oh, they'd be um, even smaller than They'd this. be smaller. They very would be small. personal size pizza. See, and you I'm would never, hard. never share. I'm trying very hard not to not yeah. to deflate the dough. Well, this is perfect. It's great. Am I doing okay? Yes. Oh, You're doing beautiful. All right. And that's semolina. Yeah. Okay. okay. Not too much. Okay. Not too much. I don't want okay. that going in the oven. All righty. Okay. All right. Goes on your peel. See how beautiful that is? Stretch it a little bit yeah. more. And it'll get and even I'm easier. Put a little, more, little tiny bit of flour on here mm -hmm. because I'm going to put a, um, I'm going to steal one of your. Okay, sure. Pieces of uh, plastic. Because yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on. Okay, yeah, good. Let me and get then it. I've got a damp cloth Whoop. because it's going to sit for a while. Yeah. And I don't want it to dry out before okay. I put the topping on. Got it. All right, now we're going to put that aside. Yep. And we're going to work on calzones. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get my notebook. <laughs> and I'm going to cut it. Almost as nice as mine. Almost as nice as yours. <laughs> and this will actually make yeah. six calzones. Oh, wow. So I'm going to. Okay. I'm really looking forward to this because I see I've how never fluffy made... yeah, this it's is. Beautiful. And it's a slack, beautiful dough. slack dough. So now, I, how far ahead did you make this? Oh my gosh, I did this four days ago. Oh, okay, it was in the refrigerator. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, so this is mine. That's yours. Oh. <laughs> so there's not, you know, you get, you don't even use. Oh, don't have to or fold it or anything. No, just flatten it out. Okay. okay. And if you've done it right, it should just stretch nicely without you, without it slapping back yeah, yeah. at you. So okay. just go around. We're going to fill this. This is a calzone. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to brush this with a little bit of olive oil over the top. A little olive oil. Put on yours as well. Okay, thank you. Calzones can have an infinite variety of fillings. Yes, okay. Very, just very like pizzas can have an infinite variety of toppings yes. these days. Huh? So, Except for pineapple. No, we don't want No pineapple. pineapple. So what I did was, Tommy, before I came over... Yes. I roasted some veggies. Look at that. So oh, now you that can, looks like a Cezanne painting. Doesn't it though? Whatever you want to do is fine. So let me put this here. I'm gonna okay. move this so we All can right. show everybody. So what we have are tomatoes, we have some roasted peppers, we've got some summer squash, and we've got some zucchini. So you just 
take whatever you want. Okay. Place a little bit of the vegetable. What do you need? Yeah, it's just just yeah, anywhere. Just random. Okay, right. it doesn't need like half or whatever. No, no, just random. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. overfill it because you don't want to, okay. you know. Try help. to follow your. Okay, lead then here. we want a little fresh thyme. See? Is that too much? No, that's good. Oh, you like that? Okay. A little fresh thyme okay. there. Then we want to get that ricotta oh, cheese. Oh, the beautiful. Miracle so, ricotta, look at that. Look at how nice that oh, is. Tip on my finger just so I can sure. taste it. Oh, look at how it changed. Yeah. So I use my oh, hands. I use my hands for this kind of thing. Oh, yeah, and I put just put some on mine. Sure. And just sprinkle. Not that I'm afraid of putting my hands in no, there, but. No, but. A little ricotta over mm -hmm. the top. Oh, Ooh. boy. It's good, isn't it? Oh, I love just a bowl of that, huh? Yeah. And then if you could put a little bit of salt. Yes. Salt. This is big, chunky sea salt yeah, I'm going to wash my hands. Okay. So. A little salt. All right. Good. Okay. Then what we need to do is just carefully fold them over. All right. See? Pinch the edges. Yours is a better shape than mine. Well, I don't know, Tommy. Remember when we made the Columbus? Yes, mine was a better okay. shape than yours. And then <laughs> you want to just go with a fork oh, okay. around the like outside. Look at yours. Yeah. Really beautiful. Like this that. has got a big there. bunch of dough right on that end. Okay. And then... Can I, get, can I cut it off? or You put them on a bake sheet. Yep, good. Now this is all dough over here. Should I just take some? No, of no, no. That's that's part of the charm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just okay. Check. All right. That looks great. Then you want to lift that up. Okay. Put it here. And now what we have to do is brush the tops. So. All right. The egg. Mm -hmm. All right. So here, why don't you brush the tops, all right. and I will put on the salt and the sesame seeds. You need the salt. Yeah. Oops. But first, you put on the egg. Yep. So that'll this will give it a nice golden look, and this is really a great. It's a good like like a meal in a pocket, or right, right. it's a great snack. It's another way to have a pizza. It, it, it you know yeah. It, it, another way to just think about pizza. So some sesame seeds over the top, and you can put the salt on, some coarse salt. And just before these go into the oven, I'm going to snip the center with the scissors All right. just to allow the steam to escape. Sure. And now, do they have to sit for a while? Yeah. Or, okay. We're going they to cover for these okay. for about 20 minutes, and right. then we're going to put them in the oven. Okay. This is going to be a very untraditional topping. Okay. But it's one that I found one night when I was alone, mm -hmm. and it's fried onions. Okay. Okay. White onions. Nice. And you know, I uh, you caramelized I don't, them a little bit. A little bit, not yeah. too much. But I also don't put an awful lot on my pizzas. But that's the whole point of a good pizza. Yeah, I know. The isn't ratio it? of the topping to the dough. If you notice in Italy, pizzas are not loaded with you know three layers of chicken, broccoli, cheese, <laughs> mushrooms. Very sparse. And now these olives are? They're, they're Kalamata olives yeah. that I also sauteed a little bit. Nice. And then I'm just going to dig right in here. And this, and this is Vermont Chevre. Chevre. Okay, goat cheese. Mm. Yeah. From Vermont. Yeah. Are you going to give it any olive oil yeah, or anything? Yeah, I am. I okay. am. It's underneath the counter. So. Want me to get it? Yeah. Okay, I'll get it. bottle right there with this the top one? on? Yep. yep. Okay. And why don't you do me the pleasure of bringing some olive oil on A little on olive oil, okay. So a little drizzle. A little drizzle. Extra virgin, of course. Yes, ma'am. That's enough. Okay. From Devero. And then I always now, make sure that the piece of slide. There's no salt or... No, nope, not because of the olives. Yep. You've got enough yep. salt in the olives. Yeah. Okay. So do you want to top yours? Well, yeah. What are we going to use for my topping? Well, why don't you use the same you thing? thing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We want to make sure that this... I want everybody to have a piece of pizza. Okay. we got to spread mine out a little bit, though. I need some flour on the bottom. Mmm, you did a nice job on those, Tommy. Oh, thank you. It's a white onion, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. You could probably use a Vidalia onion, Oh, that would too. be wonderful, wouldn't it? But because this of time the of the sweetness. year, they're not available. No, right. 
yeah. but for the sweetness, Sweet onion. it'll be good. I know that a lot in Italy they use a lot of red onions. Red onion, yeah. yeah. They use the uh, the onions of Tropea, which are those beautiful red onions that I love. Oh, that's nice. This is pretty. It's like a little jewel, little jewel pizza. And then some of the goat cheese. I'm going to use my fingers. Sure, here. yeah. Okay. Kind of like what we did with the calzone, you exactly, know? Exactly, only this is flat. Yeah. That looks and nice. And I must say your calzone is much more... Well... <laughs> much more colorful. And then a little bit of olive oil, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. My little personal pizza. That looks okay. great. And if you'll follow me, we'll go into the pizza Ready oven. Ready for okay. the oven. Tommy, how, okay. how hot is this oven? I don't know. It must be six, 600 degrees, maybe? Good. Perfect. You're a pizzaiola. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. You see, it's, it's the edge closest to the fire right. will cook. So sure. I have to pull Move it out, out a little bit. And turn it. Yes. That's so right. So this is the hot part. Yeah. But if we were in Italy, these pizzas would cook in 90 seconds. 90 seconds. You can see already how it's blistering. It's starting up. to get a little yeah. blistering on the edges. That's the way it should be. The center should be soupier. The edges should be crusty. And that would make it a real good type of Italian pizza. Now, of course, if you don't have a pizza oven like this, and most of us don't, you can do this in a regular oven. I would just turn your temperature up to about 450 degrees, preheat the oven, and if you have a pizza stone, which you can buy in any kitchen store, put it in the oven prior to cooking the pizzas about 35, 40 minutes ahead of time so that that stone gets really nice and hot, and that will simulate somewhat what we're doing here, but this is much more dramatic. Tommy, yes. they look real. They <laughs> look just like they're supposed to yeah, look. Yeah, not like Pizza Hut, huh? Yeah, no, but this is beautiful Good. with the charred edges. Yeah. And you know, people, that doesn't taste bitter. Oh, no, no, it's no, no, sweet. no. It's sweet. Yeah, and yeah. this is a tribute to... Strega Nona. Strega Nona yeah. with the olives and the goat cheese. Right. The onions. The onions. It's yes. fantastic. <laughs> and then with the same dough... We made calzones. Big Anthony's calzones. Yeah. <laughs> we started with the ricotta cheese, if you remember. Making right, the ricotta right. Making cheese, but yes. you don't have to make it if you don't want to. And then we had... Oh, but I'm going to try that. Yeah. And then we had roasted vegetables in there. We had a little bit of herbs and olive oil baked in the oven. We've got sesame seeds and coarse salt over the top. And that's a great thing to have Wonderful. for supper with a salad. And then... Mm -hmm. This. Oh, that. This. I had to make that. Okay. That's yeah. the way my grandmother, my Italian grandmother, made pizza. Mm -hmm. She'd get bread dough at Marzelli's Bakery right across the street. Just put it in a pan. Yeah. Just take some uh, tomatoes um, mm -hmm. and just crush them. No s tomato sauce, mm -hmm. garlic, and oregano. Okay. And I did it in a pan just and, like uh, she just did. Just like she did. And yep. speaking of tomatoes, Tommy. Yes, Marianne. Remember this little book? Yes, I do remember. Yeah, it's dedicated <laughs> to me, by the way. Because of why? You know why? The tomatoes. Because your husband's tomatoes. Guy's tomatoes. Well, I'd like to give you a book of mine. Oh, Marianne. This is oh, for thank you, you, Tommy. Family classics. Hey, oh, look at that. I'm Isn't sure that great? There's something mm. in there you can find uh, to cook. Mm. And until I see you, Nella Cucina, again, I'm Marianne Esposito. And I'm Tommy DePaola. Ciao. Ciao.